hello. Just wait for some people to join as you'd like and welcome my Facebook friends. So today, as the title shows, I'm going to cover in a new Pilates exercise called Give a Hug. Is it new? No, it's actually not new. <laughs> I kind of lied and I called it a new exercise because actually the name of the exercise is Hug a Tree. That's the traditional name of this exercise. But as we are coming up on the holidays, we're coming up on Thanksgiving, we are Zooming with our family and we are perhaps unable to give direct hugs. I thought it was appropriate to cover this exercise and I would like to personally rename it. Not that anyone has given me any official reason to do this, but I'm gonna rename Hug a Tree to Give a Hug. So giving a hug is what I'd like to do today. Um, so let's talk about the Hug a Tree exercise, now called the Give a Hug exercise. Uh, and uh, just in a minute, and I'll tell you first who I am, just in case you don't know. So I am Sarah, and I'm the owner and a teacher here at the Embody Movement Pilates Studio located in Lyle, Illinois. And while I teach here live in person in, in the suburbs of Chicago, I also meet my clients virtually online in their private uh, and semi-private classes as well. So if you're interested in talking more to me about doing Pilates for the very first time or as an experienced Pilates person, please check uh, out at embody, E-M-B-O-D-Y, movementpilates.com. You can also call or text 630-481-6367. Again, my name is Sarah and I'm a studio owner and a teacher here. I've been teaching since 1994 in fitness and since 2006 uh, more exclusively in Pilates and therapeutic movement. All right, so let's get on to the give a hug exercise. So what are the steps of giving a hug? Uh, so let me cover that. Very important notes here. So the steps to giving a hug. First, hmm, you open your arms and you smile. Next, you lean to get close. I know, bear with me. You're like, I know how to give a hug. Well, just in case you've forgotten. Number three, wrap your arms in a circle. And number four, squeeze. And then breathe and have a moment. Lastly, open your arms and smile. All right, so you probably smiled during that whole thing. Now, do you know those are the steps to give a hug? Let's do the exercise. You're like, Sarah, this is like really weird. What are you doing? Yes, giving a hug requires you to open your arms and smile. So let's do the opening of the arms. So as you're opening, uh, you want to have a broad opening. So in the exercise of moving into the hug, we create a shape that isn't exactly like this, it's a little bit more round. So if I move to this position from the head on, you can see that the arms are getting ready to form a circle so that as they come together, they would be a circle. And they, it wouldn't be a square, right, with a bent arm. It's actually a little rounder, so you have a soft elbow. Expand your body. Now, if you're doing this, and we're going to do it slowly, we're going to take each step at a time here, you're going to uh, allow yourself to imagine, so use your, your imagination, to hold a very big beach ball. I'm talking as big as big can be, Cirque du Soleil big, really big. A nice round ball, and it's expanding in your arms, so much so that you can just hold it with your fingertips, and as it expands and it inflates, you're trying to hold on to it, but it's increasing in size so your expansion of your arms isn't going to go flat ever because you still have to hold on to the ball so you're using that imagination to expand the width between fingertip to fingertip and notice again that my arms are still a little bit round right they're not straight and flat and they're not bent like so so you're expanding that ball and just take a deep breath now, if you've noticed that my arms have been up for a while, yeah, this takes a little bit of effort. You just want to drop those shoulders into your back. You don't have to, to press them down. You just let them ease down. 
and keep that expansion. Now this is important because when you're getting ready to give that hug, you're going to embrace and you want the full range. Okay, drop your arms and shake that out. Now why is it important to start with really good form with your hug, your give a hug? It's because you are setting yourself up with the greatest range of motion. So if we kind of crumple up or start in our small space, this is not the this is not the aspirational posture, right? We are looking for the the biggest space we can occupy with our arms, which we don't often do. So we usually shortcut ourselves, and it's it's by means of functionality, right? To sit and read, uh, to hold things close to our bodies like this. So it's good to change that up and create the contrast of using the great range that our arms are meant to use. So let's think of another image, not just the ball expanding. We can think of the image of an eagle spreading its wings in flight. So as it begins to catch air, it pulls the wings out, right? And there you have the stretch from fingertip to shoulder across the chest and out to the other hand. And that's the beginning of our hug. So that's an image. You can think of the, the image as taking a little bit of lift from the air. Now I did move my, um, my torso a little bit with a little squeeze underneath the seat. And that's actually kind of part of getting into the core connection. So our giving a hug is broad and round and you're breathing in and breathing out. Now, this itself could be a wonderful exercise just to hold your arms out like this. It's a task that we don't do very often for ourselves, right? And it will actually strengthen your shoulders and your back. So that's part of it. Give a hug. So let's come into the lean. So when you're going to lean in to give someone a hug, and this is a great way to give yourself a hug, you are leaning slightly forward. Okay, and I'm sitting, I am actually sitting. You could still do this standing and slightly lean forward. Leaning slightly forward in the wind, as I say, sometimes like, you know, when a very heavy wind is coming towards you and you have to kind of lean against it to, to walk, is that you could lean slightly forward so much that you feel just a little connection to the abdominals turn on. Okay, so if, if we're seated, we can hinge at our hips slightly forward and we have our broad arms. That's the leaning in, because when you go to give that hug, you're gonna lean forward into the other person, your imaginary family member right here in front of you. That, um, And if you have the luxury of hugging someone every day, which I hope you do, uh, then, you know, take advantage of it. We need like five hugs a day, something like that, right, to keep us happy. I forget, but, you know, look that one up. All right, so we're giving our hug. We're still in stage two, right? So you're leaning in and your arms are broad. Now, uh, the feeling is of lift, even as you lean. You're not leaning like hunching forward. Okay, we're hinging at the hip for that lean. And so imagine you're about to do that embrace, right? Here we go. You're gonna make that circle with your arms and bring it around. And when you make the circle, so when you come forward to me, you know, it's, you know, people look at this and think ballet or something like that. Well, it is a little bit of this gracefulness of the arms, but when you come in, I want you to think of like you're holding a big old round laundry basket, right? Or a big ball so that the arms are not breaking or you're not too much in your wrist and it's not like a square. It's, it's round like a ball, like there's a volume that fills the elbow pits. There's a volume there. So I like to use this kind of imagery in the way that I teach because I feel that when you sense that if you're broad like an eagle or you're expanding like there's a large ball inflating in front of you, you can use that to your advantage because we have really powerful minds. Our minds are a, a key way to get into the shape of our movement and to uh, change the quality of your movement and your mindset and your breath. So we're inhaling here, exhale to lean forward, and then we go into that circle as you come in. The energy of your circle coming in, usually we're pulling some kind of spring here, and it doesn't have to be, it's about setting your arm weight into your shoulder, uh, and into your shoulder girdle, and into your back. So if we're doing this motion, it doesn't feel like a whole lot. We're, we're coming in for the embrace, but let's use our imagination again. Who are we hugging? Are you hugging your grandmother? 
hugging your mom. Now, is it a perfectly round person? No, but we're gonna pretend they are. That's their shape, right? Because it's called hug a tree, right? But it's, now I'm changing the name of the exercise to give a hug. So you could say give a hug to a tree, but there's your tree. Your tree's perfectly, the trunk is right there. And uh, we're not squeezing so much like that or doing an incredible Hulk kind of um, pressure. The, the gentle squeeze is coming from the entirety of your arm. So if you think of it as coming in and around, you're trying to surround that person with your embrace, with the love that you have to give to that person and to also give to yourself because that energy is coming around. So we're going open and closed right there. So when we, um, so what was that? That's step four, that's the squeeze, wrapping your arm in the circle and we squeeze. So when we squeeze, here's a, here's a tip about squeezing. Um, the hug a tree circle. So I'm just gonna use this towel as an example of where to find a little bit of the squeeze. So if I take this towel and drop it behind me, which is like a stretch, right? Okay. you can do, you can follow that line down the back of the neck between your shoulder blades, right? And down towards the tailbone. But the important part is the spot right here between the shoulder blades, okay? And we want to think about like, this towel is soft. So if you think about that towel just being behind you now, and uh, the spot between your shoulder blades as a mobile space so like you can move those scapula you can even do this while you're doing that and, and find those scapula movement and just picture that that space between your shoulder blades right there just like right it's above on women it's above the bra line okay so it's above the, like where the diaphragm sits and then when you're squeezing you give a light squeeze to your back to expand the ball and then when you close your arms and squeeze into the circle, you're gonna still find those muscles in your back, okay? So even though they're, op uh, they're, they're coming apart, right? Your scapula are coming apart, your shoulder blades are coming apart, you are going to find the activity of squeeze and then just a muscular action of moving into the circle and, and then finding the squeeze in both directions. I know, this is a lot of information. You can try it out, you can play this back. That's what this is for. Okay, and so after you've done your squeeze, which is the closing in the circle, we open, right? And that opening is just as I described with a towel. There you are with your openness, and don't forget to smile, right? So you can unlean and feel the openness of the finish in your hug. So give a hug is repeated several times. Oftentimes we have something like weights in our hands and, and um, or a, we're pulling on some spring or we're pulling on a resistance with a strap in your hand or such. But the thing is you can do it without any weights and you can think of the person you're hugging. Uh, you can breathe big and en envision that circle and envision something like, it's something I like to envision, you know what I like to envision. Uh, there's a TV show called Big Hero 6. There was a movie called Big Hero 6, and there's a big, fluffy, um, white uh, robot thing. He's filled with air, and his name is Baymax, and he's, he's really poofy. Uh, and, and I imagine I'm hugging him because he's pretty big and round, and he's full of air, so it's, it's going to create a resistance that I can bounce back on, and it and he could bounce back on. So I envision that kind of quality to my hug. But then I can replace that with the person I wish to be hugging at this moment in time. So I hope that that brings some warmth to your heart. Uh, the way I like to teach uses those pieces of, of information a little bit extraneous, probably strange a little bit. It's like, not like these things are inside of the studio, but they are inside of our mind and it helps us to bring that quality into our movement for the moment we can practice something that we don't get a chance to do all the time, meaning the open arms, but also in these times right now, hugging people. So I hope this is my give a hug exercise, the newest Pilates exercise to reach the masses. And so I hope you enjoyed it. Please replay it back, try it out. And if you have any questions at all, please post them in the comments. If you tried it and enjoyed it, um, or even if you didn't quite get it, please post in the comments um, how it felt to do it for you. 
and then if you have someone a friend who could benefit or you just telling them hey I want to send you this hug tag them in the comments and I would so appreciate it again this is Sarah at Embody Movement Pilates Studio thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time so take care of yourself and the other ones in your life thanks so much